When we think about sex and spinal cord injury, we have to think about a lot of other factors that affect things. The age of the person is going to affect them, the medications there are, how heavy they are, how tall they are. All these different factors are going to affect them. When a person is going to be sexually active, we have to take it in the context of who they are. It's also your sexual experience, too. Some people before their injury could have been very sexually active. Others may be virgins. What you're going to do after injury depends on you as a person. I think it's important to go back a little bit, you know, just to understand who you are as a person before you have a disability. I was 20 when I was injured and I was very uncomfortable talking about sex with a partner. I grew up in a religious family, you know, this was not something that was talked about. It was considered inappropriate. So I carried on that feeling about sex. Then I had my injury when I was 20. So it's important to understand where I was coming from. So I already was a bit insecure about sex and intimacy. And then I had to completely redefine what it meant to have a relationship with somebody in a wheelchair. When I want to date, when I'm dating, when I want to put myself out there, it's the same, it's the same me. It's just the cover. I have wheels now, but it doesn't matter. I'm just rolling instead of walking, but I can fix my hair. I can put on makeup. I can put nice clothes on. It's just keeping true to yourself, who you were before, and you keep on being the same person, just with a little of adjustments. This is an adjustment. It helps me to do what I have to do. It doesn't hold me back. A number of people have spinal cord injuries before they're sexually active, so they really don't have to think about what their sexual activity was like before injury. But we're all brought up into different environments. Some of us might be in very sexually friendly environments. Some of us might be in very religious environments where sex is taboo. And other people may actually have been abused. So before your injury, you've got a pre-injury sexual self. After your injury, you have what doctors have done to you, iatrogenic issues. You've also got partner issues. So there's a lot of issues that can impact on your sexuality and your sexual response after spinal cord injury. And what you've got to do is deal with each of these issues and also educate yourself as to how the injury affects you. And I think looking at all those pieces together helps people optimize their sexual sustainability.